Greetings and welcome to another Patreon requested Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team Battle Report. Today I'm using the Intercession Squad against Charles using Hunter, Hunter Clade. So yeah, before we get into things, please remember to like and subscribe as well as comment. Let me know what you think of the battle report and everything. And remember, I've got a Discord you can check out in the episode description below for free, as well as a Patreon if you want to give me some more support. But yeah, we're back on Octarius again. So this time, the Blasphemous Adeptus Mechanicus is trying to steal a holy STC relic that the Black Templars must secure for the Emperor, hmm. who will win faith or technology. Today we are playing with Layout 5 Battlegrounds. And then we are using secure, so it's like domination. You claim so, a point and then you can move away. Yeah, you basically. spend one AP to claim the point and until somebody else claims the point, it is yours. Yes. And at the end of each round, uh, you score one for each, secured by your team. Yep, so for kill teams, my kill team is the Black Templar Intercession Squad. So I have a gunner with a bolt rifle who has, uh, so that's the grenadier, sorry, grenade launcher with a bolt rifle. Then I have a normal assault intercessor with uh, all specs. Uh, the gunner has a combat blade. Then I have the grenadier. Then I have my leader with a plasma pistol and chainsaw. I thought you said the guy with the bolt gun was the grenadier. Yeah, he's got a grenadier. No, no, oh, no. He's... Right, so Gunner he's... and grenade launcher. Right. And then I've got a, an auto, I mean a bolt rifle, who has lethal five up and plus one damage. So it's four five damage, with lethal five up piercing one, and then another assault intercessor there. And my leader has a plasma pistol and chainsaw. So that's it for my kill team. I did select rapid and durable, but I spent a CP at the start of the game to change rapid to jeweler. So if I parry a crit, I can parry an additional hit in combat. Uh, I've got a uh, vanguard leader with the maul and the arc pistol, a infiltrator with stub carbine power sword, a vanguard uh, or specs, um, Omni Specs, he's got Enriched Rounds. Uh, we've got a Ranger Plasma Gunner, a Vanguard Dictat with the Command Uplink, another Power Sword Stub Carbine Infiltrator, another a Ranger Arc Rifle, uh, two Rust Stalkers with Double Blades, and we infiltrated out another Infiltrator with Stub Carbine Power Sword out to here. Yep. Uh, so he's got the Servo Skull. Um, and both the Rust Talkers got Enhanced Gate. Cool. So now we'll do Scouting. One for Barricade, two for Change Order, three for Dash. So yeah. three, two, one. Three. Cool. So you get your Dash and I get to Change Orders. So I'm just going to Dash him up to behind the building. Well, he's got to get around his yep. main space. Cool. I will go first. So at the start of the strategic phase, I will... Oh, sorry. I go to three command points, you're on three. Three, yep, because we both spent one before the game. I won't spend a command point on anything. Um, I get to do an imperative. Uh, we are going to use aggressor imperative, so I get plus black to my movement, and I don't get the downside, which would be I'd have to... Cool. I can't retain cover dice. Nothing from me? Anything else from you? No, uh, we're not going to use it. So no, nothing from me. Uh, Tac Ops, I am going to reveal Seize Ground. So I will select this vantage point here. Uh, outside of blue of your drop zone. Put a flag on it. Anything from you? Uh, I must reveal assassinate target. Uh, you must reveal attack on the target reveals of the first same point. Your opponent selects one of their operatives. If they're incapacitated, I score two points. If they're at half wounds, or fewer than half wounds, I get one point. So you have to select somebody to be my assassinate target. I'll pick my or specs. Anything else from you? Uh, no, nothing from me yet. All right, so first activation, I'll activate my leader. Yeah, so he'll switch to engage. Then he'll move and dash and plasma pistol your guy in the face. So I'll put his engage order up here. Actually, no, yeah, he'll move and dash to get into there. Yeah, you can't charge me because you don't have the range to do that. So overcharge, four dice hitting on freeze. Four ones, come on. Uh, so I get all of those. So you get three hits and a one. So that would do two mortal wounds to me, right? Uh, three mortal wounds, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think it's you take three mortal wounds when you retain the dice. So you can re-roll it. Uh, hot. Uh, three mortal wounds, yeah. Yeah, I'll spend a command point to re-roll the one. Into a one. Come on. Yep, so, yep. into a one. So take three mortal wounds and you die. Because I'm AP2, uh, five, six, and I got three hits. Uh, yes, so I can only block two of them. Yep. Um, if I had one extra wound, like some... Some other people have. 
So she is down, well, he is down to 12 and it's your turn to activate. I think what we're just going to do is just activate the leader. Yep. Just going to move around and behind the barricade and, and claim it. Claim the point. I'll activate my chain sword up here, assault intercessor, who will move and dash to here and claim the point. Your turn. I'm just going to activate uh, the Rush Stalker over here. He's yep. got to most gates, so he ignores the first yep. traverse, essentially. Um, but he's just going to move over to here yep. and claim the point. Cool. I'll activate my assault in well, my gunner with the grenade launcher. He's going to move up to here and claim the point. I'll move and dash, I guess. I mean, we risk it. Risk it for a biscuit. So we're going to activate the... Um, uh, infiltrator, who's gonna go over there. I okay. I have no idea where that dice just fell from. I was from I was on the other table. Uh, so he's gonna move over. Well, it doesn't actually have to move all that far out. Um, but he's gonna move over, and he's gonna shoot his stub carbine. Okay. Into that guy. Yep. So you got four dice hitting four on threes with ceaseless. Yep. So reroll once. Uh. Just two hits, uh, three, two, two. Two, so I get two three Palmer saves. Um, hang on, because I want to. Do I want to spend a CP on a reroll? Yeah, we'll spend a CP on a reroll just to see if we can get another. We get three hit, hits. So three hits. You got three three up saves. Save them all. Make them all. Yeah. Uh, so he'll hoping you'd maybe fail one of them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I'll shoot back. Hitting on freeze with lethal five up. Uh, uh, so, so two crits. Two, uh, yeah, two crits. AP one, so you won't cover. Uh, I'm in cover. Um, so you get a four up. I'll retain one for cover. Nope. Uh, so you take four damage, because I'm four five, instead of three four, because he's, he's the upgraded guy. He's got blessed bolts. So I take 10 damage. No, you blocked one. Oh, You've, no, no, I only, you got two crits though. Oh yes! Oh, so you right. take ten damage and die. die? Yes. Oh my gosh! Yeah, sorry. I mean, I'll, I'll I'll take only four damage if you want me to only take four damage, but uh, um. So oh dear. I was hoping to maybe get at least a plink on you. But. And then he'll just move and dash to here. Uh, your turn. Well, you've already used your change order, so you can't shoot me. Anymore. Yeah, I have no one left who can shoot. Uh, so we're going to activate the other guy. Yep. Who is going to? Leap up here. Yep. Um, and because he's actually got seven inches of movement. Um, so he's going to get up there. Uh, we'll go for the Grenadier. Okay. He's potentially more dangerous. Uh, shoot the Stub Carbine into him. Yep. Um, oh, uh, so. So you get one, one reroll. Let's reroll the one. Into a two, it's so just one hit on him. And I already cover. Yep. I'll activate my all specs, who is just going to traverse to move and dash here. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Yeah, so we're going to activate the comms. Yep. Who is going to give plus one APL to him. Cool. Um, and then he's going um, to. Yeah, he's going to move around to here. Still be within six of those guys. Cool, I'll activate the grenade launch, uh, not the grenade launcher, the grenadier, who's going to move and dash seven to here and claim this. So I've claimed three. Yes. Your turn. I'm out uh, of activations. Yeah. Uh, and you've got nobody who can overwatch because he's behind a, well, yeah. he's behind a wall, yeah, yeah so yeah. I'd have to come all the way around here or somewhere over there. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Don't have to worry about that. Um, so yeah, so he can go, especially using the edge of his base there. Yep. So he's got six to there, seven, because I've got the extra plus one movement. Yep. Uh, dash onto the point and then claim the point with his extra APL. Cool. The Plasma's going to move there. Um, he's just going to stay where he is there. Get 
parts outside of two. Um, so he's going to move up around to here. Mm -hmm. Make sure he's out of two. Um, and that is meal done. All right. So end of the turning point, we get three each on the primary. Yep. Because we both have... We both control three of them. No attack ops for either of us. So then we flip everyone and roll for turning point two. Yeah. Okay. I have a six. Yeah. Five. Five. I will take it. Of course, you get, of course you get a six. Um, all right. So I go to three command points. You go to, to three, three as well. Yeah. yeah. So I will spend a command point on... And they show no, no fear. So I go down to two. So I ignore injured and APL modifiers. Yeah. Well, we'll go with uh, for free. We'll use bulwark imperative for my doctrines. Yeah. Um, so each time a shooting attack is made against my operatives, uh, before any other rules, if I roll two or more fails, I can reroll one of my defense dice. And I don't get the negative as it's the first time I've used it. Oh, if you, you get two more. Yep. Yeah. Any from you? Uh, I'll spend a command point for tactical doctrine. So if I'm within red of you, I get to re-roll a dice and shoot. When you're shooting, yeah. So I'm down um, to one. Uh, we'll, we'll spend, if we can, uh, one CP on accelerant agents, just in case I do get two, which is um, the Rust Stalkers, when they activate, which are these two, can perform a free fight, yep. and they can do two fights. Nothing from me. I can't uh, do any more. No more from me. Are you out of CP, or you got one? One left. One left. Uh, so TAC Ops, I'm going to reveal central control. Anything from you? Uh, yes. Um... Uh, eliminate guards. Cool. Uh, anything from you? Uh, and then I'm revealing faction tack up one, which is shock and door. So at the end of any turning point, if I control one or more objective markers that were controlled by you, I get a victory point, and if I do it again, I get another. Um, so we're going to. Uh, so I'm not going to reveal any more. Yep. So uh, who are you going to so, nominate? As... Uh, we'll nominate your grenadier. Cool. As the guard, if he dies during the turn, yep. I gain an addition. I gain a. Uh, victory point. I have to nominate somebody on an objective. Yes. So I activate uh, this guy. He will switch to engage my grenadier. Uh, so did you pop the reroll, anti reroll thing? No. Okay. All right. So I'll ch scramble charge to here. You'd be out of range of me anyway. Oh, no. Sorry for the re anti reroll. Yeah. Because uh, I think there's no way. That's fine. Like. Yeah, there's no way I can really dodge that. But I'll charge and fight your leader. Uh, yeah. So I've got five attacks hitting on threes, your four attacks hitting on fours. Uh, yes, uh, you would count as injured, but you don't because of them, they shouldn't have fear. Yep. Uh, I'll come always four attacks on fours, four, five with stun. Uh, I've got four hits. Oh. Um, yeah, with the uh, hit on fours. Uh, I get one single hit. Um, so you got one to... One to your four. What's you your damage? Four, five. Four, five. Um, no, because yep. the most I can get is two. Yep. You parry one anyway. So I'll parry and kill. And kill me, yeah. So kill him. Yeah. And then I'll throw my crack grenade at your, plas uh, your arc rifle, sorry. And he rolls three crits and hits. Three crits and hits, So because even if you save two, you'll take... Uh, Unless I save two crits. Uh, even if you save two, you're going to die, because it's four five. Yeah, but... Nah. You got save one, one crit. crit. One crit. Yeah. So he's out of crack grenades, uh, but he kills two. Uh, your turn. Um, you haven't taken that point from me. No, I haven't. So I think we've got to try and risk it and see if we can at least try and slow you down. Um, cool. So he's going to switch to engage. Yep. Um, he's going to charge. So he's just going to basically charge around here, which puts him in the way of people getting through. So he's only charging one? Yes. Okay, cool. Because I'm not sure if he's actually going to survive charging you. He might. It depends how many crits I roll. Exactly, yeah. But I, if I'm probably not going to kill you with one set of attacks, so yep. the second set might kill you. Uh, so I'm five attacks on threes, I believe it is. Yes. Uh, five on threes with rending, four, four, six. Yeah, because he's got the two um, the paired blades. Uh, four, six, yeah. Threes. Oh, that is so far just a hit and a... Two crits because yeah. of rending? Yeah. I've got three hits. Uh, so, do I want to 
Reroll dice. Um, with a CP. Because uh, you, you've got three hits. That's going to do 12, 12 damage. So um, if I parry one of you, I live. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to spend a CP to reroll one of my misses. Yep. Into a hit. Cool. Um, because you do four damage on each of your hits, don't you? Yes. So, yeah. So if I parry one of your attacks... Cool. I'll hit you for four damage. I'll hit you for um, six. I'll hit you for four. I'll hit you for six. So you do five damage each time, so I'm down to yep. four wounds. Yep. Um, but I'm still alive and I'm on two wounds. Yes. Now I get to do a second fight action. Yep. So you're injured now, so you hit on fives. So if you hit me, I'm dead. Hit on fours. Yeah, four, sorry. If you hit me, I'm dead. I score a crit and cool. two hits, so it kills him. Okay. Which is why I only charge the one guy. I mean, if I charge your if I charge your sergeant, your sergeant gets a free hit at me, essentially. Um, he can shoot me now, but then if he shoots him, he's not shooting somebody else. So I activate this guy who's going to... My gunner who will dash out. Mm -hmm. And will shoot your guy up there. Yeah. Uh, I don't think mm. I have the movement to get within red. Yep. Yeah, just, yeah. So hitting on freeze with lethal five up. Uh, crit and a hit, so it's AP, crit and two hits, so it's AP one, so you get two four up saves. Yeah. Save both, so I just take one crit. So take five damage. Yeah, so he's got five left. And then I'll shoot again. Uh, he's uh, dead. Yeah. Two crits, two hits. Uh, even, yeah, because you do four. Yeah, I, I've only got two saves, so you can't save it. Uh, your turn. So, yeah, we're going to activate the plasma gun. Yep. Um, oh, he's going to move around, so he's here. Yep. Um, he's going to shoot your marine, who's now standing in the open. Cool. Uh, he's going to overcharge the plasma gun. Cool. 498 on freeze. Um, I should have probably done the reroll one, but every reroll one is so... Bad. We'll see. The old one. Uh, crit and hit. Crit and hit. Um, you know, I'll spend a CP to reroll one of the misses into a hit. So, so I need to save one. AP two, so you only get one dice. Save so one. Block that, and I take uh, ten damage. Ten. Yep. So I'm down to four. Uh, so I'll activate my gunner here with the grenade launcher. He'll switch to engage. So he'll move to here. Mm -hmm. He will. Fire a crack grenade at the guy in the open. Uh, yeah. If, uh... Uh, I only get one hit. No, I may actually survive. So I get two saves. Yep. Uh, yep. I save the crit. Uh, and then I'll fire into your plasma, hitting on freeze. Uh, so two you hits. Just, you get two to hits. retain one. Uh, yeah, so he's in cover, so he retains one. Two more saves. Uh, saves. So you hit me twice, I save twice. Yep, your turn. So, so yeah, the Omniscope is going to move round. Yep. And he's going to shoot into you. He's got the Abitch rounds, so he's got plus one damage yep. on his normal shot, on his normal. Uh, four dice on threes. Yep. Uh, so that is two hits and a crit. So um, I retain one because I'm in cover? Uh, he's not in cover. Oh, sorry. So two free, uh, free free up save, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so, so you block, block the crit, crit and take die. two. Yep. Which. But so that does score me eliminate guards. Uh, and it was your. Uh, it was your, your all specs you made the thingy, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so he is activated. So next I will activate my uh, grenadier. I mean, my all specs guy who would dash. Scramble over to here. Mm -hmm. And then claim my point. Claim it. Uh, so we'll activate the comm. We'll give my all specs plus one APL. Yep. Uh, and then he's going to move himself around here. Okay. Uh, so then I've got my leader. Who's your last guy to go? So my leader will shoot his plasma pistol at your assassin. Mm -hmm. There's two wounds left. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, overcharge. Oh, there's another one. I get a reroll because I'm within uh, six. You dead? 
Uh, yeah. yeah. So that is in line with his base, so he can go. So actually, you can do that. So it's three. Uh, so you got eight. So that's five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight, and yeah. Yep, with the range, he can just get it to here. Well, he can get to where he is on the other side of the barricade. My leader will catapult himself as a true Black Templar. Ah! Uh... Seven graces, he only has a chainsword. Five attacks hitting on twos. Two crits, three hits. Uh, so, I get... Four hits, no crits. So I'll crit you for five damage. You hit uh, me for four, for four, and I'll kill you. Yeah. So he has got eight wounds left. All right, uh, I think that's the end of the turning point. Yeah, I've got nothing else to go, so. Uh, so I, oops, so I get four in the primary, because I control four. Uh, yes, because you took away control of number two from me. I don't get central control, but I do get uh, faction tank up one, shock and awe, because I'm controlling an objective. One there, yeah. So I get I'm uh, I get five, so I'm on eight, uh, and, and you're on seven. Yeah, because I score two from the ones I hold. Oh this no, turn. you get are you on six? Sorry. Yeah, because I, I hold two still. Yep. Let me flip everyone around. All right. So we roll for the turn. Five, four. four. I will take it. So I go to two command points. You go to so one. I will spend a command point for long range shooting. I think. The devastated doctrine. Yes. Um, I'll do my free one for the shooting one. Uh, I don't get the downside, it's the first time I've used it. Yeah, so I won't spend anything else. Anything from uh, you? No, I'm not spending anything. Tac Ops, nothing to reveal. Nothing to reveal for me. Uh, so, uh, I said long range doctrine. Yeah, you did say doctrine. Yeah. So, uh, nothing, no Tac Ops, so who, I guess you're going to nominate him as the guy. Well, I have to nominate him, he's yes. the only one actually on a point. Okay, so I'll activate first. Which is your Auspex guy, which if I did actually kill him, I could also get assassinate target. Yeah, so if you kill him this turning point, you'll get three victory points from killing him. Yep. So I activate Crank. Grenade. Yeah. Well, my grenade launcher. He will uh, into your gunner fire my crack grenades. So crit, two, uh, crit and a hit, and yep. I get a reroll. Uh, yep. Just a crit so and just a hit. Crit and a hit. AP uh, one, so you get to retain one. Uh, yeah, I'll retain one. I'm trying to roll a crit. I do, so I save a crit and a hit, so he's fine. And then I'll shoot him again. So it's AP1. Just a crit and a hit. Two hits and a crit. Uh, so again, we'll save one. Oh, so, so you take seven damage and die. die. And then for his last action, he will scramble over. Oh no, bolt guns, the Two. bane of every seven wound model. Uh, your turn. Um, no, there goes my basically being able to kill him. So we're going to fight this guy. Because um, all he can really do is shoot. Oh, no, actually, I will. You gave him plus one APL. Yeah. Um, I hold four and three. I can't take anything from you, but he can move dash this way to get a shot and just get further away from him, basically. Yep. Um, so we'll move. Um, oh, dash, and then he'll fire a shot at your leader. Yep. On threes, if I get two misses, I get to reroll one dice. Oh yes. You do get two. I misses. do actually get two misses. So um, that's two crits because of rending. And it's a further miss. Two so crits. Just two crits. I uh, roll two crits. You roll two crits and block it. So I'll activate my leader, who will charge. Okay. Wait, hold on. Can I shoot you from there? Am I within two? Uh, I think you're Just out down. of two, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Um. Oh yeah, one I'll just charge around to here. Oh, I'll stay an inch out. Wait, hold on, I can't do that either. Uh, well, I'd have to be here. Yep, so I'm in an inch, and then out an inch of you. So okay. I'm injured. Hitting on threes. Oh, okay. Uh, so you're uh, hitting on fours. Yeah. I get two, two hits. hits. Okay. Uh, so I'll use my crit because I've duelist to parry these two hits and then kill you. Yeah. 
and then I'll fire my plasma pistol overcharged. It's the other guy. Oh, it's hitting on freeze now. I won't overcharge. Ooh. Hitting on freeze. So if you roll ones. <laughs> uh, so a hit and, and he's a dead. crit, AP1. He's dead. Yep. And that's it. Yes, because all I would do now is... Uh, is you've got one guy left to activate. So uh, Two. Oh, yeah. So he can move around there, grab that point. Yeah, he would move and dash and claim this. And then this guy would, would just scramble over to get to here. Yeah, to get to the middle. Uh, so at the end of that turning and then point... turn four, you claim... So you'd score five this turn, six, and then no, you so score get, seven. Still capped at four. So I'd get yeah. four in the primary, but I would get uh, max faction tack up one. Yeah. And then at the end of the game, I'd max everything. You'd max everything else, yeah. So it's, uh, I'll get a point from uh, Headhunter, because your leader's injured half health. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. It's... Uh, oh, no, sorry. That's wrong. Nope. No, sorry, it's a... Oh, no, it's the, uh, no, yeah. the assassinate target one is the half one. Yep. Um, yeah, so no, I don't kill your leader. Um, so uh, at the end of the game, it would be... So you would get one that turn. I got point, five, and then six, yeah, seven. One, and I would max it. So I only got seven total. Seven? Cause, uh, oh, yeah. yes. So I had, I had five, I would have got one that turn. And then I would have stopped you getting another. Yeah. yeah. So it would be 18-7. Good game? Yeah, and Marines are just really difficult to deal with yes so the thing um, is that's why I, I the reason i went maybe i should have stuck to rapid for this matchup but usually i switch to durable against hunter clade for the double parrying combat yeah um which you didn't really need um yes because the only time i rolled crits in combat was there yes yeah every time it was just hits but the Marines just, they've got three, they, again, they, they are really good. They're three APL, they're three up saves, they're 14 wounds now. Yes. Um, if the board has enough blocking that you can't see them for one or two turns, mm. then it's too late because they get to you and they just, even the even the four or five damage in melee is against seven wound bodies, two hits kills them in combat and you're rolling five dice. Yeah, because what I've, um, I would have done is taken uh, five... Um, combat assassins. You still just killed them. Oh no, but uh, it's the thing is, on the charge, you would bring me down to like two wounds or kill me. It, it took two attacks to kill one of your guys, um, yeah, yes. and that guy took himself down to two wounds. Yeah, and you didn't roll. You didn't roll any crits on that one. No. So, but that, that's why I would do two yeah. assassins in because was, one assassin killed one, and then the, the other assassin ass died horribly when you shot it. Yeah, yeah. Because when you charged it and just murdered it, yeah. Because I rolled two hits. Because um, my... No, that time my leader did roll uh, Jeweler. Yeah, so that's what I mean. I, 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 I rolled, like, nothing. Yep. Because um, what I was expecting you to do was group... Because you can do any operatives to group activate within blue of your leader. Yeah. So I thought you were going to activate still... the Surveyor, who would then give Ignore going to your Plasma, and then your Plasma was just going to move out and try and shred my Gunner. Yeah, the problem was it wasn't... Good. I couldn't really get a proper. I, could, I I might have been able to, but with the way everything went. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't have deployed him so close. I get what the point was, but then when I knew you weren't going to go for change order, I went for change order. Yeah. I was thinking you might have taken dash. Well, because um, the the thing is, even claiming that, I would have just moved. Just, back it would just slow it. you. It slows you down because what I could do is claim it, move back around here, and just yeah. slow you down. Oh, it's a turning point one. I never planned to move up apart from here. Oh no! Well, you might have, you may. If I hadn't deployed here, you could have just safely moved a guy around to claim the point. Oh no, that's what I did. That's what I was going to do anyway. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Is it would have slowed you down just a slight bit. Slightly, but that's why I take the leader with the plasma pistol, just because he yeah, moves up was, to an assassin. I was hoping he wouldn't be able to get the hit, but he did. Because um, if he gets three hits while overcharged, just a dead assassin. You don't need four hits, um, and. Yeah. Uh, what was it? My MVP is actually the leader because he, he just cleaned that whole flank because he killed yeah, he... three assassins and two normal guys. Yeah, but again, he's a space marine. Like, if if he's not doing that with his hitting on twos... Oh, he's a true, like... he's a true sword brother because the, the plan was actually if you got someone close, when I killed your leader and then through the crack, I was hoping you'd get someone within six so then I could shoot on death to get three kills. Mm-hmm. But uh, no, it's like, this is why I like intercession. They're very, 
Strong. S uh, and simple. Like, it's just six guys. Like, you just run up. Yeah, like... the, the problem is it's six guys, but each one has so much power packed into them, and unless you can actually do something to them... Yeah. Like, if they're concealed and you can't shoot them because there's no way to get to a vantage point, you're not hurting them. So the only um, thing I would say, you played a bit too aggressively. If you held back, I probably wouldn't have been able to push so far. Uh, you would have been. No, if I hadn't, you would have just been able to push up where I just wouldn't be able to shoot you anyway. So I was um, really worried about here, and I was worried about staying here, because what I expected, you had a, one of your gunners here. I expected you to give one of your gunners plus one APL, then move dash up to here and shoot me down there. He couldn't get there. He couldn't get close enough. And the moment I get around here, you, could, you were just able to flank around and shoot. Um... No, 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 from here, because you deployed someone here. I think it was the plasma. Yeah, but I don't have enough movement to get up yeah, here. Yeah, with free APL. No. Yeah, because you, you popped your thing, so you would dash first, then you would get spend an inch to climb, then another inch. Because of your plus one, you would get to there and plasma me. Uh, he started behind, he started around here behind the wall. He wouldn't have enough. Did he? Oh, yeah. OK. Oh. No, no, that's it. He, was, he wasn't close enough. That's why I was terrified. I thought you might have just done it here as well. But the problem is you also have the ability just to ignore obscuring with the all specs. So I was yes. like, there's a chance you could have just shot him before he could get there. I mean, this matchup um, is now a lot easier for me now you don't have the Aquabus as well. Uh, yes, no. Um, having one more guy may have helped, because again, this is now post the, if you take more than four assassins, you don't get the extra guy. Yes. And it's just, well, again, it's just one less activation I could have used to just slow you down oh yeah totally um or just spend an activation for you to do nothing on because i think i now have essentially no activations that don't do something apart from like the assassins when there's nobody in range because yeah. like the surveyor can give out an apl the omni or spe omni specs can spot somebody the two gunners are gunners just having that one extra body where you can just can just throw a guy forward to block a lane oh no totally yeah it's like um but oh, i just love how simple they are like there's no complex strain and it's oh, just they're, going they're, yeah they're space marines yeah <laughs> so they play really thematically um uh, yeah i think my mvp is definitely the leader i guess your mvp yeah. would be uh, probably the guy who ran over there and just shish kebabbed a space marine yes he he did um, shish kebab me good but um, yeah i think that i'm still enjoying the new mission attack ops i was actually because uh, i can't reveal central control turning point one i was like oh Actually, I messed up scoring that turning point two as well. Uh, so. Yeah, but that's again, you were playing maybe slightly too cautiously at that point on turning point two. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I didn't expect the the problem I have is I've got seven wounds. Yes, like an average hit from a space marine kills my guy. Yeah, I keep forgetting um, that because I'm so used to bolt, go, bolt guns doing nothing. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this bolt gun's killing. Well, it's only if you're shooting other space marines yes. or like. No, I don't know what else, really. Um, Galapox Mutants, maybe? Probably. Um, but um, no, no, thanks for the game. That was yeah. really good. It's a nice show of the change of the balance data slate, because Marines are still unchanged. Well, yeah. Um, but I think the new missions are really good. Um, this one, this layout was actually better than I thought it would be. I thought the, the missions yeah, this, would be weird. Well, the thing is, we, we wanted to play one of the length of those one, and this one seemed the less stalemate-y one than one of yes. the others. Yes. Um, and it's an interesting one. It gives you two relatively easy to access ones, dep again, depending on how the terrain's laid yep. out. Um, two relatively easy to access, two near the middle that are easy to access. But again, it's it's three APL teams really shine on a lot of stuff, like, especially like this where you start further in, they can move up and still claim with little things to stop them. Yeah, I think this probably would have been easier for you if it was C's. Yes. Uh, where well, you have to stay on it, yeah. Yeah, because there's no APL cost. But then it would have made me just move up, be way more aggressive turning point one. Mm. But I, I like the new twist. I think the problem we had with Domination before is it was way too hard to score. Again, points. it depended. It was the, yeah, on the, the layout. Because it, it had a set layout was the other thing. Well, it's like to score one, you needed to have two. Yes. And yeah. then you had to score to score another one, you had to have more. Yeah. And then you had to control this, it. Now, this is just hold a point and then ju just do an action on a point and just score one for each one you hold. Yes. Um, so maybe it's a bit too much, but I think it works. Because any way to complicate would have made it weirder and it would have made tack ops even more important now you can pick them. Hmm. I still think it's a lot of... The, all of the ones... All the missions where you have to do an action, three APL teams, it, it slows them down a tiny bit, but it doesn't really slow them down enough. Yes. Yes. Um, especially this where you do it, then you just run past it. Uh, but um, let me just show off, I'm re I really like, they're not varnished yet, but this is 
my uh, sword brother, who was converted from a marshal, which I stole from a guy called Remy in France. Stole the idea. So it just needs varnishing and then some wearing details. But I'm really happy with how my Black Templars came out. Hmm. I've painted six, now I need to paint nine more. Nine more, you can see <laughs> just them. So you, uh, just so you have all of the options, which you're never going to take. You never know, you never know. But that's pretty much it for today. But please remember to like and subscribe as well as comment. Let us know what you thought of the Barrel Report. Did you like it? The new tech ups, all of that. And I've got a Discord you can check out in the episode description below as well as a Patreon if you want to give me some more support. And I'll just quickly thank my patrons because this is a Patreon work I said Battle Report. So for my adepts of the crew, I have Samaru, Sam, Sam, Robin, Ninja Lee, 83, Kenzie, John Thomas, Eric, Captain Murder, Dave, Daniel, Average Doe 27, and Adzik, and then for my veterans of the crowd, Sam Jethro. Thank you so much. Your support really means so much to me and helps support the channel and bring us stuff like this. Because remember, I only painted up the Black Templar intercession faster because you guys requested it. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Until next time, we'll be back with more Kill Team content and stuff. So no matter whether you're fighting over faithful technology, remember there's always hope as long as you can roll a crit.